Hedging interest rate risk with CME Group U.S. Treasury Futures begins with identifying the futures contracts cheapest to deliver security. Then we can determine the contract's implied basis point value, or BPV. Once the BPV is determined, we can determine the BPV at risk. BPV is also known as DV01, or dollar value of an 01. They all refer to the same thing, the financial change of the security, or portfolio, to a change in a 0.01% change in yield. For example, we are long 100 million of a U.S. Treasury portfolio with an average BPV of $450 per million. We have determined that the five-year note futures contract has the closest BPV of 42.45 and a conversion factor of 0.8317. The calculation for the futures contract's BPV is the contract's cheapest to deliver BPV divided by that security's conversion factor or CF. The next step is determining the basis point value at risk. Since our portfolio is 100 million and the average BPV per million was $450, we have $45,000 basis point value at risk. Now we can calculate our hedge ratio using the following formula. Hedge ratio equals value at risk, or BPV risk, divided by value of contract, or BPV contract. 45,000 divided by 51.04 equals 881.66, or 882 five-year futures. Because we are hedging a long position that is exposed to higher interest rates, we would sell the futures contracts. This was a simple exercise to demonstrate the hedge ratio calculation. Risk managers of large rate positions use futures contracts to hedge a portion of their risk or to modify their portfolio's target duration.